One of the greatest challenges in this project is really probably going to be the humans. It's hard to create them in CGI, whether it's for film or games, because we're trying to, to understand what a human looks like from birth. There's so much information to make a human yeah. come yeah. to life. You could just like spend your entire career yeah. just on figuring out how the skin works. Everybody talks about skin shading, but it took me a couple of years to really understand, try and learn the skin attributes to even just kind of get skin deep. And all those things that weren't actually feasible before now, it's like it comes in this little Unity shader ball. It was really, it was really exciting when we first actually got the, uh, the animated cache of the face. And uh, the first thing to do was obviously to throw it into Unity and see how that works in real time. And with the skin shading package and everything, it, it worked out surprisingly well. The coolest thing is seeing how far real time has come, you know, compared to when I started being interested in it. The best example of that that I have seen with Unity is translucency in skin and, and computers calculating um, HDR lighting in real time, you know, both of which are kind of pretty amazing. You can apply translucency and, and subsurface scattering to anything where light is diffused through an object. That's a massive, massive step up. It's really unlocking the, the flexibility for um, creators and artists to, to get their specific look and feel of what they're trying to do. Um, the flexibility in the modern graphics engines and um, shaders and whatnot it really gives you a lot of power and you can sculpt the vision and the visuals and whatever art style you want. The sky's the limit now.